My name is Dyke Ross Kelly. I'm an artist out of Utah, and I have a Bosch relief carving that I've done that I would like to explain and talk about for a little bit today. Um, it's a hunter on his horse with a pack horse and a uh, elk that he's killed, but. I want to talk about it so that people can appreciate it that aren't hunters. But I also want people to be able to look at it and see that this hunter is like a modern day mountain man. He's rugged, he's intelligent, and has the ability to survive in the wilderness and to make his living out in the wilderness. But there's a lot more to this picture than that and that's why I think others could appreciate it also. I've um, done it in a Bosch relief style. I've tried to create little details that draw your attention in from even from the spur and the buckles, buckles on the pack horse and its um, harnesses to the detail in the eye and the horns, um, the hair in his mustache, the deer, the horse's um, eye. I titled this picture um, Mountain Done and that's because of what color this horse is. A lot of people think that this would be a buckskin horse, but a dun is more than just a buckskin. It's an ancient breed that has ancient markings. Um, if you've ever seen the cartoon Disney, the Disney cartoon Spirit, that horse was not a buckskin but a dun because of the markings on it, the, the yellowish color, but also they have the dark leggings and often have zebra st style or type markings in its thighs and as the dark marks separate into the lighter color. They have a stripe going down the middle of their back over their rump and tying into their tail and that's those are signs of a done. The show Dances with Wolves where Kevin Costner from the beginning of the show is given the big um, buckskin colored horse that horse is also a dun and you can tell by the markings. So the dun horse is a special horse. In this picture I tried to create a contrast of colors. I wanted there to be darkness throughout to represent and to give the feeling of a deep dark wooded forest. Um, the detail in the background is more abstract. There are mountains and rocks and trees in the background but I wanted it to look like it's fading back and I wanted there to be light coming through the trees, like the light breaking through the tree branches. I wanted there to be gnarly branches and um, the pine needles to show, so that when you look at it, you, you believe you can see those trees have been there for hundreds of years. It gives you that feeling of an old, old forest and as you look at it, that you could, you could picture beyond what I've created in the picture, but your mind starts to see what could possibly be behind those trees, the rivers, the streams, the lakes, the snow-capped mountains. And I wanted the picture to have movement so that you feel like you wonder where this guy's going, where he and his horse are going. Are they going to their main camp? or where, what's ahead of them. I wanted there to be a story there that creates in your own mind of where this hunt is going to and where they're, where they're going. Um, I put a lot of detail into the rocks and the trees and the limbs and the branches because I wanted it to feel like that. When I'm up in the mountains and I look around, there's so much detail in all the leaves and all the rocks and all the twigs and I wanted it to feel that way so that as you get closer to the picture and you look at it, there's things that draw you in. You draw, you see these branches and you want to look at them further to see the detail that's there. Um, once again, this is, is called boss relief and boss relief to, to maintain the integrity of it, um, I don't increase or extend the of the wood that was there. So I try to create a three-dimensional appearance even though everything's on or below the plane that I started with. So I try and create a three-dimensional look of this boot and his leg, a three-dimensional look 
to the horse's chest and face, even though it's not fully three-dimensional. It's a very difficult style of carving. I try and carve detail in the ropes and in his gloves to draw you in so that it's, it's interesting and enjoyable to look at for more than just a brief moment.